In this video, we will be configuring IPsec and ISACAMP. Here we have a network with two routers and two backsides. The backsides are the 137.233 network, and the link between the two routers is the 10.0.10 .10 network. Okay, so the 137 network is acting as our LANs and the 10.0 is our WAN. We want a tunnel between the two LANs and we want this tunnel to be encrypted with IPsec. So let's go over the configurations for ISACIMP and how to set up an IPsec tunnel. So on both of our routers, we have F00 and F01 being used. Uh, F00 is going to the backsides and F01 is connecting the two routers. So let's interface F00, no shut, and let's interface F01, no shut. F01 for router 1 will be 10.0.10.1. .10 Oops, sorry about that. Make it a slash 30. Link to router 2. And F00 IP address 128.0.0.0. .0 .0. Dot two five four, so that it is PC ones and gateway, and slash twenty four. Link to PC one. Router two. Interface F zero zero. No shut. F zero one. No shut. I'm in F01 right now. IP address 10 0 10 dot 2 slash 30. Link to router 1. F00 IP address the 129 network. Make it 254 slash 24. Link to BC2. Okay, let's verify that we did this correctly. Let's ping router 1, which is 10.1. Great. Okay. Our PCs don't have IP addresses on them yet. Let's go ahead and set that. IP 128.1 slash 24 gateway is 254. We'll do the same thing on PC2. 129.1 slash 24 254 is being the gateway. Back to router 1. Let's ping my gateway. I got replies. And let's see if it can ping the 10 network. 10.1. Yes. Router 2 should be able to do the same. Should be able to ping its gateway. 29.254, yes, and should be able to ping 10.0.10.2, yes, good. Okay, now on to configuring our crypto. So in router one, go to global, crypto, isocamp policy, we need a policy, this will be policy one, authentication pre-share, Encryption, AES-256, and group. We have a choice of one, two, or five, so we'll use five. 
exit crypto isaac camp keep alive 60. okay crypto ipsec we need a transform set we'll just name this transform esp aes 256 esp shaw hmac under our transform set we'll choose the mode transport now we have the choice of tunnel also but we'll just keep it transport crypto ipsec profile the name of our profile we'll just keep it simple profile set transform set the transform set we created earlier transform and then set PFS group five. Okay, let's crypto IPsec security association replay window size 1024. And lastly, we need a crypto key ring and we'll just name the key ring IPsec shared key address I'll be using quad zeros for any address and the key one two down two down shift one down shift two down there we go let's show run so there we go we have a crypto key ring with the key we have ISACAMP policies with the encryption, the authentication, and the Diffie-Hellman group. We have Keep Alive for our ISACAMP. We have an IPsec Security Association replay window size. We have the transform set with its parameters. And we have an IPsec profile with its parameters. Next, we'll configure the tunnel interface on router one. I'm gonna interface tunnel one. IP address, we'll be using the 130 network, make router 1.1 1 .1 slash 30, tunnel source F01, tunnel destination, router 2's physical IP address, tunnel mode, IPsec, IPv4 and then lastly we need to apply the profile tunnel protection IPsec profile the name of the profile and we'll tack on shared perfect Isaacamp is on there's our crypto configurations there is our tunnel configurations tunnel mode and a profile. There's F00 going to the back side. There is F01 going to router two. All right, router two has IP addresses on its interfaces. It needs the ISACAMP configurations. ISACAMP policy one, authentication pre-share, Encryption AES 256, Group 5, Crypto, ISACAMP, Keep Alive 60, Crypto, IPsec Transform Set, Transform, ESP, AES 256, ESP, Shai Mode Transport, Crypto IPsec profile profile set transform set transform set PFS group five crypto IPsec security association replay window size ten twenty four crypto key ring IPsec, pre-shared address, quad zeros, key, 
one down, two down, shift, one down, two down. Got it. Now let's show run. Make sure that all of our configurations are there. There's our key ring with the key, but there's our isocamp policy, the keep alive, the security association replay, the transform set, and the profile. Router 2 now needs the tunnel interface. Interface tunnel 1, IP address 137.23.130. This will be dot 2 slash 30. Tunnel source. F01 on router 2, tunnel destination 10.1 for router 1, tunnel mode IPsec IPv4, and then the tunnel protection profile, oops, IPsec profile, profile, sure. Isaac Camp is on. And the line protocol for interface tunnel 1 changed the state to up. I should be able to ping router 1's tunnel interface. 137.233.130.1. And yes. Good. So now there is an established IPsec tunnel between router 1 and router 2. Now to make sure that PC1 can ping PC2 through the IPsec tunnel. We need to set either static routes or dynamic a dynamic routing protocol. In this case, we'll just use EIGRP for our routing protocol. And we will only be placing the 137.233 networks in EIGRP. We do not want to put the 10.0 network in EIGRP, otherwise we'll be uh, configuring recursive routing. And that won't work for us. So let's go to global router EIGRP. I'll just use 20. Network 137.223.128.0. Now I could use the wildcard mask or I could use the regular subnet mask. Since this is a Cisco router, it'll automatically switch over to a wildcard mask. And also the network 137.233.130.0 with its subnet. We're not going to get too much into EIGRP here. This is simply just so that we can send traffic over the IPsec tunnel. Router 2. Router EIGRP 20. 137.23.129.0. Network 137.233.130.0 should get an adjacency over our tunnel. Show IP EI neighbor. I should see the 130.1 for our neighbor and the tunnel interface. We have an established adjacency to router 1. And now we have routing for our two backsides via an IPsec tunnel. PC1 should be able to ping PC2. And this traffic should be going over the IPsec tunnel, not the physical network itself. So let's ping from PC1. Let's ping 137.233.129.1. That's PC2. It timed out, but now it's coming through. And I'm pinging PC2 from PC1. Okay. Um, just wanna see if we could do a trace route. Bad command trace route. Uh, let's see, trace. Trace. 137.233.129.1. There we go. This is a Linux machine, not a Windows machine. So let's see. Trace 137.233.129. And I should only see the 137 networks. So 128.254 is my gateway. 
130.2 is now router 2, and then 129.1 is PC2. Notice that my next none of my next hops are the 10.0 network, so this proves that our traffic is taking the IPsec tunnel. So our t traffic is being encrypted when it leaves router 1 and goes to router 2. So there you go, that's how you configure an IPsec tunnel between two routers.